Today, PayPal announced a round of layoffs, laying off around 2,500 individuals, which reduces its total workforce by about 9%. According to Bloomberg, this comes as a result of rising competition, profit pressures, as well as a raft of analyst downgrades. And according to the CEO himself, the decision was made to right-size the company through both direct cuts and the elimination of open roles throughout the year, and eliminating jobs will allow the firm to, quote, move with the speed needed to deliver for our customers and drive profitable growth. At the same time, we will continue to invest in areas of the business we believe will create and accelerate growth, end quote. Since CEO Alex Chris took the helm, he's made it very clear that he's going to streamline what grew into a very bloated business during the pandemic. Towards the middle of the trading day today, PayPal was actually down about 2.5%, but as soon as this rumor started to spread that they would be laying off employees, the stock grew grinded higher throughout the day actually going green by more than half a percent at one point. It ended the day just barely in the red, and honestly, I'm surprised that we did not get a bigger move up on this news, and I'll explain to you why that is in today's video. But if you guys are new here or returning and not yet subscribed, please subscribe down below and also hit the like button. It helps spread the video for me. I appreciate it. PayPal investors like to make the comparison to Meta stock back in late 2022 when Meta was feeling a lot of pressure in the stock market. And ever since late 2022, Meta stock is actually up 340%. A lot of investors believe that PayPal can do the same exact thing given the company right now is priced for 0% growth. As you might have guessed, Meta stock found its exact bottom immediately upon Mark Zuckerberg announcing these employee layoffs. In fact, Meta laid off more than 20,000 employees over the course of 2023. Now, PayPal is a much smaller company. At the end of 2022, they employed just a total of 29,900 individuals. They announced actually a year ago today, the same exact day, a year ago, that they were laying off 2,000 employees. So that headcount is likely around the 27, 28,000 mark. And this new additional layoff of around 2,500 individuals likely brings PayPal's headcount down to around 25,000 employees. Even if it benefits a stock that I own, I always hate to see people losing their jobs, but I know it's good for the business and it's going to be good for shareholders over the long term. But yeah, be sure to put these individuals in your prayers. Regardless of your situation, it's never easy to get laid off and fired. But let's go ahead and discuss PayPal stock and how these layoffs will benefit us PayPal shareholders. Really quickly, I do want to mention that PayPal stock is down another 60 basis points after hours. This is actually as a result of Microsoft, Google, and AMD's earnings reports, which actually are good for PayPal's business. Microsoft came in and beat their sales number by a billion dollars. Google came in and beat their sales number by one and a half billion dollars. And even AMD came in with a slight beat on its sales. However, Microsoft is down one and a half percent. Google is down 4% and AMD is down 3% as I'm recording this video. And this is actually because these companies are priced for perfection. So I think it's really silly that after hours PayPal is down more than half a percent as a result of these companies' earnings reports because I can assure you that PayPal is not priced for perfection right now like these other companies are. If you're not convinced, just look at the performance of these stocks throughout the first month of 2024 where Nvidia stock is up 26%, Netflix is up 18%, Meta is up 13%, Google's up 10%, so on and so forth. The only mega cap eight stock that has had a bad year is, is Tesla, which is down 23%. And keep in mind, all of this is coming after all of these companies returned incredible gains to investors just last year in 2023. But am I surprised that the market is treating PayPal irrationally after hours? No, not at all. I mean, they've been treating PayPal irrationally for over a year now. Since July of 2021, PayPal stock has been in a nasty downtrend. We've kind of leveled out recently, but man, this has been painful for a lot of investors. I've personally been buying 
stock anytime it gets to the $50 range. I'm probably going to start buying stock in the $60 range now because it is just way too undervalued. But yeah, in my opinion, rather than being down 80 basis points in sympathy of these other earnings releases, PayPal should probably be up 80 basis points because it means their business is doing better than expected if these very large companies are beating on their revenue results. And the more transactions that go through PayPal, the more money PayPal makes. So again, it's shocking and irrational to me that after hours PayPal is down, but I'm going to leave that note here now. If we go to PayPal's Seeking Alpha page, we can see all of the analyst expectations and projections for the company. When it comes to their earnings per share, in 2024, analysts expect their EPS to grow 11% year over year. In 2025, they expect it to grow less than 11%. And in 2026, which is getting dodgy because there's only two analysts that cover it, analysts expect their earnings per share to grow by 13.68%. According to these numbers and projections from analysts, PayPal stock is trading at a forward PE multiple right now of an 11 or a 10 and a half, depending on if you're using 2024 or 2025's numbers. That's insane. If you're trading at a 10 or 11 forward PE multiple, it means the stock market and Wall Street believes that your company is done growing. I, for one, already believe that analysts are wrong with their figures, and my belief of that came before these layoffs were announced. But what do layoffs do for a company? Well, it decreases expenses dramatically. So what you're going to see, and I guarantee you this, is you're actually going to see Wall Street start to upgrade PayPal stock. I know it sounds crazy after all the downgrades that have, come, that have come through the newswire, but it will happen. Upgrades are going to come. Wall Street loves to see layoffs. I know it's kind of a dark art, but they love to see it. And as a result of that, their earnings expectations for PayPal are going to go up, which if PayPal stock price stays the same while their earnings projections go up, it just means that this forward PE multiple that we're sitting at currently is going to be even lower, probably a 9 or a 10 rather than a 10 or 11. We can actually see this in PayPal's most recent quarterly report where they break down their operating expenses by category. We have customer support and operations, sales and marketing, and tech and development primarily that are a reflection of the downsizing of the workforce. Remember just a year ago today, PayPal announced a reduction of 2,000 employees, and we can kind of see how expenses have gone down as a result of that over over the past year or in the year over year comparisons. For example, in customer support, it cost the company $509 million in the three months ended September 30th of 2022. In 2023, in those same three months, that was down to costing the company $474 million. So roughly a $35 million reduction in expenses when it comes to their customer support and operations. Sales and marketing is even more extreme, where in the third quarter of 2022, it cost the company $544 million. That was down over $100 million to $442 million in the third quarter of 2023. And then you also had more than a $60 million reduction in expenses for technology and development. These cost-cutting measures, I believe, are going to continue. PayPal is going to become a more and more efficient company. Their profit margins are going to go up rather than down. And as a result, the total earnings of the company is going to go up. As a direct result of this new round of layoffs, the company is going to have more retained earnings on their financials, meaning they'll have more money that they can use for share buybacks, which I personally love, or they can reinvest in their business, particularly the parts of their business which are growing the fastest. And the fact that Wall Street is pricing PayPal PayPal for 0% growth is just astounding to me because more than a quarter of the world's e-commerce goes through PayPal. So all PayPal needs is for total transaction volumes to go up, for their revenue numbers to go up. But anyways, let's talk about this. This is my PayPal price target spreadsheet, which is made available to all my paid monthly members. You can join by hitting my Patreon link in the pinned comment or hitting the join button located right next to the subscribe button. I'm completely self-funded and this is how I avoid all of these crappy sponsorships that these other YouTubers take. So yeah, if you wanna support me while getting access to a bunch of other 
other perks and benefits, consider joining the membership, but let's go ahead and dive into this. Currently, based on my estimations for PayPal, the fair value of the company now is at $145.42. However, as I'm sure you're well aware, PayPal stock is trading for only $63.68. So I believe that the fair value for PayPal stock is actually more than double the current share price. When I first created the spreadsheet, I did account for some additional cost-cutting measures, but based on what we've already seen Alex Chris do in the few short months he's been the CEO, I think my cost cutting that I have factored into my price target is actually conservative. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change some of my numbers live for you. Instead of $1.75 billion being spent on customer support and operations this year in 2024, I'm gonna knock that down in an additional $50 million. For sales and marketing, I'm gonna do the same thing, knocking this from 1.6 billion to 1.55 billion. And I'll also do the same for technology and development. This brings my estimated earnings per share for PayPal stock in 2024 to $6.11. This compares to analyst expectations currently of $5.55. So in my opinion, and this is my more conservative price target spreadsheet, I think analysts are way off. I'm also gonna go ahead and reduce these same expenses for 2025 and 2026 by the same amount. And here's what I come up with based on those cost reductions that I just made to this spreadsheet. In 2026, so based on 2026's numbers, so realistically in 2025, I think the fair value for the company is gonna be 244, almost $245. That means that over the next two years, I expect PayPal stock to return 284% to investors. This is not quite on the same level as Meta, but this is still tremendous return for 24 months. But you know, there's so many variables at play here. This is not a guarantee. I'm not a financial advisor. The economy could go in the dumps at any point in time in which every single company in the stock market would be affected. This is just a baseline scenario. I believe over the next two years, investors could see 284% return. This is also assuming an annual reduction in the amount of shares outstanding of 3%. For context, over the past 12 months, PayPal has repurchased 5% of their outstanding share count. But obviously, as the share price goes up, the company's gonna be able to repurchase less shares because it costs more money to repurchase shares when the share price is higher. The other thing to note is that this price target is based on a forward PE multiple of 25 when in history, PayPal is typically traded at a forward PE multiple of 30. If that's the case, I think PayPal stock could get close to $300 by the end of 2025. But yeah, if you're a PayPal shareholder, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you think of these layoffs. Obviously, they're going to be good for the company's bottom line and obviously not so good for the people that are getting laid off. But as an investor, I think this is a very, very good thing that's happening for the company. And ultimately, I do think PayPal is very under undervalued right now. We might not quite see the same return that Meta has seen, but I think it's a very similar scenario here. And this is going to, it's going to be a fun one to watch in my portfolio. I mean, it's one of those stocks that if we get it right, our portfolios are going to expand exponentially. They're going to grow exponentially. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you want to keep up with everything PayPal and in the stock market. That's what I do on this YouTube channel. So if you're new here or returning to not yet subscribed, be sure you subscribe down below. After all, you watched the whole video. So if you're not subscribed, something's wrong. But anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Keep 10 toes to the ground and your chin up. Stay blessed. Peace out.